Welcome to the Morning Update. I'm Erin Ramsey. The Taliban has faced the world's media following its takeover of Afghanistan. It's promising not to take revenge on anyone and says its priority is to restore order under Islamic law. Zabahala Majahid from Taliban was questioned about the future of women in Afghanistan. The issue of women is an important issue. We recognize the rights of the women Islam gave them. They can work in schools, they can work in hospitals. Evacuation flights are set to begin after the U.S. military resumed control of the airport in Kabul. Major General William Taylor says up to 9,000 people a day can be flown out of the country. We retain the security of HKIA that enables the safe, orderly evacuation of Americans and Afghans. There is no confirmation when two Australian evacuation flights will go ahead. U.S. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan says talks are continuing, though. We'll be eager to work with Australia to help get out Australian citizens and other individuals individuals who the Australians would like to see get out. New Zealand has entered a snap three-day national lockdown after a COVID case emerged. The person tested positive in Auckland, with Auckland's lockdown to span seven days. Southeast Melbourne's emerging as an area of concern as the city spends its first full night under curfew. Five mystery COVID cases have emerged in St Kilda. One of those infections attended an illegal engagement party. Meantime, New South Wales Health is about to open another COVID hotel in Sydney for people who can't safely isolate at home. More than a 1,000 people are currently staying in the four hotels in the city. And 48 Australians are being honoured with bravery awards today. Governor-General David Hurley says 10 will receive the highest honour. To sport in tennis, Ash Barty's in action this morning for the first time since her early singles exit at the Tokyo Olympics. The Wimbledon champ playing Britain's Heather Watson at the Cincinnati Masters this morning. The AFL's making contingency plans for this year's grand final the league is reportedly prepared to delay the big game by a week to find a new venue if lockdown continues. And Rugby Australia is reviewing the men's and women's sevens team after both were knocked out of the Tokyo Olympics in the quarterfinals. In entertainment news, fans of the Crown have been given a sneak peek at the new Diana and Charles for the upcoming fifth season. Netflix released new pics of Elizabeth Debicki in character as Lady Di and Dominique West as the Prince. Alex Rodriguez has spoken for the first time since his split with ex fiance Jennifer Lopez. A-Rod says he's in a great place and is grateful for the five-year relationship with J-Lo. And a tough break for Daniel Craig's kids. The James Bond star says he won't be leaving his $160 million fortune to his children. Instead, planning to give most of the money away. That's your latest from the Nova podcast team. We'll see you this afternoon for another episode of The Update.